life is an absolute shambles. Today's beef is with Nicholas Cantu, or uh, the voice actor of Gumball. Dream versus Gumball is not something I ever thought I'd see in my uh, lifetime, but here we are. All right, so bear with me here. The timeline of tweets is very, very confusing here because they're pretty much all over the place. But here we go. This is a continuation from the previous drama where Dream was being accused of being a groomer. And uh, the voice actor of Gumball joins in saying, bro, when you are in an actual PB, you can't joke about being an actual PB. Basically, Dream was joking about the whole grooming situation by unboxing a t-shirt that said, I like minors, as in Minecraft minors and not actually uh, real life minors. So Dream says, you're replying to a fake account. I'm not a PB, no matter how much you joke, but you are a terrible shitty human. You physically assaulted me, said the N-word and other slurs, verbally berated an Uber driver saying that that's why I'm a famous movie star and you're an Uber driver and they were just trying to help you not get arrested. Calling them the R slur and saying your IQ is among geniuses and making racist remarks towards them. Then you apologize in Twitter DMs to me because you were drunk and high. You should never treat anyone like that regardless of circumstance. Crazy how the voice actor from Dora the Explorer, Gumball, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is being racist and replying to follow fake dream accounts in his free time. Photo in case he deletes. And here we have the tweet. He's quote tweeting a parody account, Dream's real account is blah, blah, blah. And he was quote tweeting the fake Dream account called Dream was Talon. Okay, this should probably get banned because they need to put like parody at the end of it, but whatever. Uh, and there we go, blah. He just replied saying block. Now the sad situation of Twitter right now is the trolling is just absolutely winning in all aspects. Everybody seems to hate Dream. The parody Dream account gets more likes than the actual Dream account, despite his massive following of stands. Nicholas Contu is bodying Dream as Essentially, despite actively just being the most horrible person on the planet. Like, we'll take a look at a video where this guy is just absolutely insufferable. But people hate Dream so much, they're willing to overlook anything. Okay, Dream could be arguing with a mass murderer right now, saying that it's wrong to murder people, and people will still be against Dream. Honestly, this is probably one of the first times in like five years I actually feel bad for Dream. This is this is more than any human being can take, I'll just say. Now, here we have Dream posting a video saying, Nicholas Conte, voice actor of Gumball, Dora, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Skull Island, and more, being homophobic, anti-Semitic, ableist, and threatening to kill me, comma, everyone. I thought this was going to be Dream just being cringe or whatever, but take a look at this video. This dude is insufferable. All right. They're going to arrest your ass, yeah, of course, right? When that. he came back, what was the first thing he told you? He, he, said, got listen, out. he said, listen, he's he's he said, if car, you get out, I'm yeah. a what? God, I was trying to tell so you listen, that man. before so you yeah. even started but, talking but, to but, me. Yeah, before I tell you, listen I, to somebody listen. who has experience in life. If I'm putting you on game, so he's right? arguing with the Uber driver here. See, you still no, go, no, go. no, no, no. I'm not so going. you're asking I'm why? Not, I'm, I'm not going. Be, I'm not going because you're manipulating. The same thing you say you not want to do or you went through, you're doing the exact same shit, and you're using all these bullshit excuses of why you're still fucking up. So you're 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 the type of person you're gonna have to bump your fucking head for you to learn. So when somebody who is older than you, I want to tell you right now, you are Australopithecus Cro-Magnon, rock fucking stupid. You're retarded. You're fucking down syndrome. I don't give a fuck. You do not understand that your literacy. Yeah. Okay. So just gonna pause it here. So you know he's saying all these words or whatever. Normal people on the internet don't really give a shit what you say. But you know, obviously, Stan Twitter gets really mad about this sort of stuff, right? Despite the fact he's saying all these words or whatever, which he's not like allowed to say or something. People are all on this guy's side. It is actually hilarious. The stands have like uh, thrown across all their like standards of a good person. They just hate the hell out of Dream. Just wait till how much of a narcissist this dude is. Issue with oh, your no, intelligence. No. When the bites come or the ants come at me, it'll take ten thousand, a hundred thousand of them to take me down. So that's how minuscule you are to my size, right? My stature of intelligence, character, body, and um, reverence in the world. One K is better for this pussy who doesn't want to give away his millions. Are you Jewish? No, man, because I'm gonna do movies, stand up, comedy, everything, all the shit, that's music, fine. whatever the fuck, e commerce. You don't understand that you're talking to like a Michelangelo of my time. Michelangelo over here, voice actor of Gumball. Oh boy. Oh, this is embarrassing. And there's hundred million, thousand billion sand particles. You're gonna be one of those, and I'm gonna be a statue erected in gold. I am like this because ADHD, autism, neurodivergent. I have ADHD. Right, that's him trolling, probably. I think you're a. All right, so that's why. All right. Okay. Cool. And all of the shit that's happened tonight, it's not gonna make it a. 
like brutal marauder. It's, I'm not gonna be a brutal marauder. I'm gonna. Okay, so people were getting really mad at Dream because they're like, "Oh, you recorded this video and held it for months and years, and then you're only bringing it up now that to expose him." But they kind of just avoided all the context that he was told to record this video by that guy. Okay, um, just I don't know, he's a little really drunk or something like that. I don't know why you'd want this recorded, but apparently that's the context to it. Now people were calling out Dream as well. Why are you letting a guy underage drink? But uh, this guy's age. 20 now i think it was 19 or something i don't know if that's underage drinking in in the u.s or whatever obviously it's not really dream's job to control that but uh yeah you can possibly get mad about that i don't know at, at this point it's like you can pick and choose what to be mad about i don't possibly understand how anyone can like this guy he seems like an insufferable knob but dream sucks too so i don't really care here Cantoon Network on all socials, tune your sets. I know it's kind of all over the place, but this is literally how it is on Twitter. Also completely lied about tipping the guy. I tipped him a thousand dollars though, because I felt terrible. And uh, this is one of Nicholas's tweets saying, yes, I slap boxed you in front of the hose. Yes, I was an a-hole to the Uber driver. I was wasted and wasn't cool, which is why I tipped him a lot of money and have been cutting back uh, drinking. Dream is saying that he's the one who tipped the Uber driver a thousand dollars and this guy did nothing. Just from that video, I would probably say that this guy probably didn't tip him at all. He's just making the shit it up because you're treating him like an asshole and a dream seemed like the reasonable one in that uh interaction so i'm more inclined to believe dream was the one who tipped the uber driver but whatever nobody actually knows what happened there uh hey this is a guy from uber i replied on there what's up crazy night yeah man it was a crazy night but no he never sent anything though i'll save your number though how has everything been for you this world needs more people like you and your friends you guys were so calm that made uh th that night that made everything easier i really appreciate that i'm glad that's the impression do you have paypal i don't have blah 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 okay so dream is saying okay these are the messages i was the one who uh paid him or whatever to deal with your absolute bullshittery despite the fact that nicholas clearly being caught in a lie here you near unanimous support for nicholas here i do not know what is wrong with twitter dude they hate dreams so much they're like pretty much convinced he's a minor toucher or something so nothing will pretty much change their mind at all despite the fact that there's no plain evidence for that jesus christ like he's a weirdo but i don't i don't know there's no like definitive proof if he needs to go to jail or anything. For the context, this is after he physically assaulted me once and before he tried to again after the Uber ride, he dropped his phone out the Uber window. Uber driver was telling him not to argue with the cops that stopped him from going across the highway at 4 a.m. So much more than this happened, only 150th of the night was recorded and there's other witnesses that want to stay anonymous so they're edited out of any video. Now there's actually a tweet by Dream where he leaks one of uh, Nicholas's DMs uh, basically apologizing to him about that night and being a giant a-hole, which gives further credibility to the fact that on that night, Dream was a sensible guy and Nicholas was an absolute loser. Dream, not engaging with your bad faith roast. You did everything I said and also all the things you admitted to. A-F-A-I-K. What, what is this? I don't know. You tipped him nothing too. Not that tipping would excuse anything. You threatened my life, hit me, then shut the F up and apologize when I hit back. Grow up. And here we have a Nicholas Contu DM to Dream. Hey man, hope you had a good night last night, but I don't feel right knowing I was dogging on you like a cane corso. No chihuahua shit. I was coming for your neck. So I wanted to apologize for hitting you and I think I slapped you once which was totally out of line. Here we have him clearly admitting he was in the wrong here. Even as a joke, that shit isn't done right, so I deeply apologize for that one. But yeah, man, I was drinking and smoking weed. Yeah, that justifies everything. Anyway, anyways, yeah, I expected you to be this little a-hole dickhead with no morals, but I saw last night that you are a very humble, grounded, and decent man who can roll with the punches. I know you understand the importance of your stature and influence in the internet world, so to see you having to deal with that so young is something I relate to in my life. If there's any bad blood at all, I want to clear the air and make sure you're good because I've never been a man to make enemies. And the violent manner in which we were interacting isn't something I want to recur in my life with good humans I meet like you. This dude called him a good human is trying to ruin his life shortly a few months after. And on the allegation shit, I truly will never know who's right and who's lying on that. But I know that having lies and rumors spread about you is awful and really Fs with you big time. So apologies for sticking on that for so long and saying it in front of strangers like in the Uber. What the F dude? I'm a little gay though, lol. Anyways, man, I hope you still enjoyed yourself at the party. I'm glad you pull through so this guy just apologized to dream about everything he did that night and then walks it back completely and look at look at look at twitter's response to this first reply you're just mad that he's over 18 what is dream yapping about you want him to show receipts you want him to show evidence he shows you it and then you're just like what is this guy yapping about i'm not reading all of that like it is so incredibly insufferable oh my god it's all these goddamn 
idiots. Uh, like, oh my God, I would lose my freaking mind. I would explode into a million pieces. Imagine the entire world does not give a shit about the truth. They just want to hate you. They just want to hate you. That's how the internet operates right now. And that's how Twitter.com operates against Dream, which is pretty funny because at one point in time, Dream controlled Twitter. Like he was the guy. But now that he's like sort of stopped making content a bunch and like the tide is sort of turning, it's like everybody's turned on it and they do not give a shit about the truth, man. It is rough. So you took a 19 year old out drinking, which is illegal in your country, got beaten up by him and then started filming him. You're not doing a great job of deflecting the non allegations, boss. Bro lost against a blue cartoon cat. Doesn't make you any less of a pee pee if that's what you're going for. Bro trying to be a victim. Supplied minors with alcohol. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. So you gave a minor alcohol. So out of that video, that's what they got out of that video. The dream was supplying a minor with alcohol. Definitely not that guy go, go like being an autonomous, autonomous human being and just purchasing alcohol and drinking it himself. Dream is supposed to take the bottle out of his hand, fling it out the window because bro, I cannot with Twitter, dude. He really filmed this months in advance. Like, yeah, this will get me out of some criminal allegations one day. Apparently that's not what he did though. I, Jesus God, I don't want to be defending Dream, but this is such a ridiculous situation, dude. Oh my God. Here we have Robbo saying, hi, I was there. You called a girl I knew a whore and got slapped for it. What is wrong with you? 55K likes. How did you turn this situation into you being the victim? Nick even sent a paragraph apology to you about slapping you for being a misogynistic loser that texts little girls and you claim he's racist? Go to freaking hell. Context, the slap happened months ago. I confused it with an altercation that happened more recently. Sadly, Dream called a close friend of ours a whore and wasn't slapped for it. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I am so confused. I have no idea what the hell is going on here. There's like seven different dramas going on at the same time. Nobody's revealing any information of what actually happened. You just gotta take it as a he said, she said. But Jesus Christ. Here we have Dream's response to Robbo saying, you weren't even in the same state as me when it happened. The whole tweet is a lie. I don't even know who you are and I don't go around randomly disrespecting women. The continuous trope of women are helpless people that need defending from men from people like you is insane. Not even the guy who assaulted me claimed this happened, lol. And he said every lie he could. Now this guy replied himself and said essentially, oh, it was a different party and he didn't get slapped for it, but it happened, I promise. Anything to win an argument on the internet. What I'm inclined to believe is actually happening is that people are just lying about Dream, dude. They're just making up random shit. Like, that, that's what the trendy thing right now is. This guy's tweet got 50k, 5k likes and he made up a random story then realized that it was impossible to prove said that whoa whoops that's not actually what happened dream responded to it got half the amount of likes people are still not on his side this is unbelievable so it continues as i said before people were calling dream a major scumbag for recording this footage of nicholas Conto being a absolute asshat or whatever and keep holding on to it for months or years or whatever and then bring it up when he needed it in a fight dream is claiming here i wasn't the one recording a 20 year old that asked to be recorded by someone because he was owning everyone and then i posted it when he completely lied about the entire situation online after assaulting me the allergy to the truth continues all okay so dream is saying that he was the one who asked to be recorded okay it wasn't dream just randomly like secretly recording him and i don't think this was a secret recording considering that guy was literally looking back at him like directly at him okay he knew he was being recorded and just gonna be honest if the guy completely like lies about a story changes every single aspect of it and then calls me a pee pee the least dream could do is post that video showing everybody that he's an asshat that's not to be trusted. Oh my god, dude. There is zero benefit of the doubt for Dream. Now, understandably, Dream is so frustrated right now. Like, 99% of the stuff I read on Twitter is just complete bullshit. It's actually hilarious to me at this point. As I said, you need to just stop responding to something if it's a complete and utter lie. I sort of understand his constant responses because if lies about you are going viral on Twitter with like a 100k likes what do you do <laughs> what do you do at that point dude now somebody quote tweeted him getting another 64k likes here saying this dude let someone under the legal drinking age drink this is a 20 year old by the way full autonomous adult and then recorded this video and held on to it for years it's not years it's just been months dude it's just lying about everything dude in case he needed to use it against Kantu if he turned on him what do you mean turned on him he called him a pee pee when he's oh my god dude 
Oh man. I'm losing my mind and I'm not even dream. In fact, I don't like dream. I'm a dream hater. Okay. I don't like dream. Imagine if I was a dream enjoyer, dude, I would be furious. I'd be pissed. Oh my God. Like it's just every single word of every tweet of every statement is just a lie. And people do not care about the truth. People just care about trolling. Look at his dreams. Freaking thing got 11 K likes. And this one has 64 K when this one's a complete lie. Jesus Christ. Need more community notes. So all this happened two months ago, not years. I didn't film it and it was recorded because he asked for it to be. I just met him for the first time at a random party and no one turned on anyone. I let this 20 year old man I don't know with the fake ID drink. OK, what is he supposed to do, dude? Confiscate his shit like it was just like there were supposed to be two guys who just met and they're like both famous or whatever. So they're just kind of hanging out together. Yeah. But what about the grooming allegations? Can't believe you didn't literally tackle him, smack the drink out of his hand. This is Clearly, um, the one dr remaining dream stand. <laughs> they like really talking like you're a mastermind cartoon. Glad there's at least a little bit of support here, but well, man, Twitter hates his guts, dude. Oh okay, yeah, now at this point, Dream is starting to get really, really frustrated because how can you possibly support such an incorrigible goal, goal, goal douchebag? Okay, that guy was like talking like I'm king of the world. Okay, just uh, if that was a standalone clip on the internet, everybody would be shitting on this gumball dude. But because he's against Dream, it's like okay, it's kind of like the Dylan Dennis versus Logan Paul, where everybody loves Dylan Dennis despite the fact that he's a scammer because Logan Paul's a bigger scammer, you know. It Except the fact that Logan Paul was an actual scammer. Dream is not a confirmed PP, okay? Otherwise, those are just allegations, largely of which he disproved. So all I know is that if I, like him, uh, assaulted someone, admitted to it, said slurs on video to a service worker while belittling them, lied about tipping that person, and went on a narcissistic rant about how I'm above everyone, I'd be crucified. But okay, Twitter, green man bad instead. I think this is just made by Dream here. This is kind of cringe, but whatever. I expected you be this little a-hole dickhead with no morals, but I saw last night that you were a very humble, grounded, and decent man who can roll with the punches. Nicholas Conte, this is an actual quote. We'll read it, by the way. This isn't something he made up. This is an actual quote by him. But you did all these other horrible things, and I'm sure you're not being hypocritical about them at all, or I'm sure you've been holding them to the same standard of proof that's been provided here. I couldn't convince you the sky is blue if I tried to. I know that having lies and rumors spread about you is awful and really Fs with you big time. So apologies for sticking on that and for so long and saying it in front of strangers. So essentially, he was there hanging out with Dream and telling everybody he's a groomer like that's gonna piss somebody off and dream was pretty chill in that video dude oh my god and then he apologized about it and he admitted that those are lies and rumors oh my god who made the mugshot quotes other horrible things. Bro, you're a pee, pee and a gruber. And this is probably the tweet I most agree with here. Twitter about people they don't like. I made it up. Source? <laughs> just I, I just made it up. All right. And finally, Dream decides to log off the internet. Now again, I'm going to go and get off Twitter and enjoy my life and hang with my friends and family and work on my video. Just going to say, if you, if you tweet out saying things like, yeah, I'm logging off. I'm going to go enjoy life. You're not enjoying life. You're thinking about this 24-7. None of this BS matters to people that go out. Outside. Now, uh, this would be okay to say if Dream did not actually admit to going f outside four times in the last five years or some shit like that. Like he actually admitted because he was so terrified of getting like uh, approached by fans or people face revealing him or something. Dude literally has gone out less than actual prisoners, like actual people in maximum security prison. So why haven't you already? I'm on the defense constantly against whatever this week's anti-dream lie is. Fair enough. I understand. Shut up and provide receipts. I understand that I'm not helping change anything by tweeting, arguing with randoms. I'm not trying to. I'd go insane, ignoring viral lies at all. The truth always comes out. If you were harassed like this, you'd probably do the same. You know what I do? Well, it's different because I'm a commentary channel. I would make a video just absolutely railing into this fucking lying piece of shit, right? But I I'd, I'd recommend you do that, except you're a Minecraft channel. So it's a bit awkward. Maybe on one of your side channels, man. I will always learn and grow as a person and admit to my mistakes when I make them. The internet is so cruel nowadays, it's impossible to be human. Oh man, I feel so bad for this guy. And Dream is just one of those characters who's just, just hated really badly. And you're not really sure why. Like he's a little cringe. He cheated at Minecraft. He lied about it. That was a bit cringe, but crucifying him to this extent, falsely calling him a PP, lying about pretty much every instance uh, of him is just ridiculous. Like even some of his videos on YouTube, like just like a wired interview, just randomly has like a 50% dislike. And in the video, he's just like a 
genuine dude chilling. This dude like got face revealed. Everybody's calling him ugly. Like it sucks to be Kareem, man. It actually sucks. So here we have the tweet we saw before, but there's much more context to this one. Okay. Yes, I was an a-hole to the Uber driver. Yes, I called you fat and a predator. He spot on about basically everything except the racial shit and me saying the N-word. Don't do that shit. Won't say that shit ever. Hire a Harvard professor to calculate why despite texting every Twitch streamer in Austin, not a single one wanted it. F and it's 115k likes. 14 million views here. Opera GX responds with gumball. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much the situation. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.